In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Dear brethren, as we are in the early days of Advent, the Church presents to us the life of the Apostle Andrew for our reflection and inspiration. Andrew immediately left all that he was doing to follow the Lord. Advent is a calling to follow the Lord closely. Let us ask the Lord during this Holy Eucharist to give us the grace to be able to give up so that we might be able to follow him closely. For our shortcomings and failures, let us ask the Lord pardon and grace. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and to you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to God in the highest. And on Lord, earth, peace, peace to, to people, people of goodwill. We, we praise you. We bless, bless you. We adore, we adore you. We, we glorify you. We, we give, give you thanks for your great glory. glory. Lord, Lord God, God, heavenly King, King O God, God Almighty, Almighty Father, Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Christ only begotten God, Son, Lord God, God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. We humbly implore your majesty, O Lord, that just as the blessed apostle Andrew was for your church a preacher and pastor, so he may be for us a constant intercessor before you. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brethren, if you confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord 
and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. For with the heart one believes and is justified, and with the mouth one confesses and is saved. For the scripture says, Everyone who believes in him will not be put to shame. For there is one distinction between Jew and Greek. For the same Lord is Lord of all, bestowing his riches on all who call on him. For everyone who calls on the name of the Lord will be saved. How then will they call on him in whom they have not believed? And how are they to believe in him of whom they have never heard? And how are they to hear without someone preaching? And how are they to preach unless they are sent? As it is written, How beautiful are the feet of those who preach the good news! But they have not all obeyed the gospel. For Isaiah says, Lord, who has believed what he has heard from us? So faith comes from hearing, and hearing through the word of Christ. But I, but I ask, have they not heard? Indeed they have. For their voice has gone out to all the earth, and their words to the ends of the world. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let our response be. Their sound goes forth through all the earth. Their sound goes forth through all the earth. The heavens declare the glory of God. And the firmament proclaims the work of his hands. Day unto day conveys the message, and night unto night imparts the knowledge. Our response Their sound goes forth through all the earth. No speech, no word, no voice is heard. Their sound goes forth through all the earth. Their message to the utmost bounds of the world. Our response Their sound goes forth through all the earth. Kindly rise for the gospel. Alleluia, Alleluia, follow me, says the Lord, and I will make you fishers of men. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. At that time, while walking by the Sea of Galilee, Jesus saw two brothers, Simon, who is called Peter, and Andrew his brother, casting a net into the sea, for they were fishermen. And he said to them, Follow me, and I will make you fishers of men. Immediately they left their nets and followed him. And going on from there, he saw two other brothers, James the son of Zebedee and John his brother, in the boat with Zebedee their father, mending their nets, and he called them. Immediately they left the boat and their father, and followed him. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to, to you, Lord, Lord Jesus. Jesus Christ. Dear brethren, the call of Saint Andrew is quite an appropriate occasion for us at the beginning of this Advent season because it reminds us of God calling us to follow him through his son Jesus. And our response at the beginning of Advent must be the same as that of Andrew. We must, without hesitation, be prepared to live everything to follow him. It means to be ready and willing to give up anything and everything that stops us from following Christ closely. Pope Francis, a Holy Father, at the Mass honoring St. Andrew, addressing the believers, urged Christians to provide credible witness with their lives. That is what the Apostle Andrew was. He witnessed Christ through his life. And he says, in order to be credible witnesses, we need to be coherent he says, we need to take away that attitude, that sin, that vice within us so that we become more integrated as witnesses. He says, proclaiming Christ is not about 
advertising. This is the exact word he uses. It is not the logic of marketing, he calls it. Like Andrew, he says, proclaiming Christ is putting one's own life on the line. He used the image of putting one's own flesh on the grill. That is really putting oneself at risk. That's how we need to proclaim Christ. He specified that this journey to announce the gospel, to proclaim the gospel by putting one's life on the line is a one-way journey. He calls it a one-way journey because he says there is no return ticket. To be able to proclaim the word, we must be witness. And he says scandal has no place in the life of a proclaimer, of a witness. If there is scandal in us, then he says, it will be like most other Christians who live as pagans and as non-believers, as if they had no faith, because scandal does not permit us to live as witnesses. He called for coherency, he called for consistency in life because that is what he says will give credibility to us witnesses. And he described these people who put their lives on the line as martyrs. He recalled God the Father who to make himself known sent his son Jesus in flesh and he took up flesh so that we might be able to get into a relationship with God. Now that is very similar to what St. Paul writes to the Romans. He says a relationship with God is possible when there is faith. Faith is possible when there is someone to proclaim and proclamation is possible when there is someone who is sent. And dear brothers, we are invited to first and foremost be prepared to be sent out. Now if we are to be sent out, we should also be prepared to proclaim, not just in words but also in deeds. And this proclamation will help others believe and then come into a relationship with God. The Apostle Andrew give himself to the Lord totally until his last drop of blood. He immediately left everything to follow the Lord closely. And Advent reminds us again to give up everything that stops us from following the Lord closely so that we might become credible, coherent witnesses of Jesus who will be born in our midst, whose memory we are going to celebrate so that we are instruments, we become instruments of this newborn child sent in our midst, in and through us. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed, Blessed be God, God forever. forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. For through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the wine and work of human hands it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Lord, we please sacrifice for Pray to your brethren that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Grant us, Almighty God, that through these offerings, which we bring on the feast day of St. Andrew, we may please you by what we have brought and be given life by what you have accepted through Christ our Lord. Amen.
the lord be with you and with your spirit lift up your hearts we lift them up to the lord let us give thanks to the lord our god it is right and just it is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks lord holy father almighty and eternal god through christ our lord for you have built your church to stand firm on apostolic foundations to be a lasting sign of your holiness on earth and offer all humanity your heavenly teaching therefore now and for ages unending with all the host of angels we sing to you with all our hearts crying out as we acclaim holy holy holy, 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 holy lord god of hosts heaven, heaven and earth are full of your glory hosanna in the highest blessed is he who comes in the name of the lord hosanna in the highest you are indeed holy o lord the fount of all holiness Make holy the for this gift we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion he took bread and giving thanks he broke it he gave it to his disciples saying Take this all of you and eat of it for this is my body which will be given up for you In a similar way when supper was ended he took the chalice and once more giving thanks he gave it to his disciples saying Take this all of you and drink from it for this is the chalice of my blood the blood of a new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins do this in memory of me the mystery of faith when we eat this bread and drink this cup We proclaim your death O Lord until you come again Therefore as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection we offer you Lord the bread of life and the chalice of salvation giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the holy spirit remember lord your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with francis our pope philip neri our bishop and all the clergy remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy welcome them into the light of your face have mercy on us all we pray that with the blessed virgin mary mother of god the saint joseph her spouse with the blessed apostles saint andrew and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and we praise and glorify you through your son jesus christ through him and with him and in him o god almighty father in the unity of the holy spirit All glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching we dare to pray our Father, Father who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy, thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil deliver us lord we pray from every evil graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our savior jesus christ for the kingdom the power and the glory are yours now and forever lord jesus christ who set your apostles peace i leave you my peace i give you look not on our sins but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her 
peace and unity in accordance with your will who lives and reigns forever and ever amen the peace of the lord be with you always and with your spirit let us offer each other the sign of peace this be with you lamb of god you take away the sins of the world have mercy on us lamb of god you take away the sins of the world have mercy on us lamb of god you take away the sins of the world grant us peace behold the lamb of god behold him who takes away the sins of the world wants to come into our hearts that by receiving him we might grow on and go to be credible witnesses that's it abhi who are called to the supper of the lamb lord, lord i am not, not worthy that, that you should enter, enter under, under my roof but, but only say, say the word, word and my soul shall be healed Andrew told his brother Simon we have found the messiah the christ and he brought him to jesus let us pray make communion in your sacrament strengthen us o lord so that by the example of the blessed apostle andrew we who carry in our body the death of christ may merit to live with him in glory who lives and reigns forever and ever 
Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you. The Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth the masses and it. Thanks, Thanks be to God. Stay.